In this video, we're going to take a look at Creek Stewart's Paracord Bracelet Kit that came in the April 2016 version of a pocket box. Well, let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. First, we have some weaving instructions, which shows you how to make the standard paracord bracelet. Around 12 to 15 feet of paracord. And two of each of these buckles, which we'll go over now. First, we'll look at the black buckle. It has Creek's name or logo on it. Has a compass mounted on it. Has a whistle on the side, which works fairly well. And a ferro rod and striker. The other buckle is very similar. The only difference is it does not have a compass and obviously it's a different color. It does have a whistle which works about the same and a ferro rod and striker as well. Alright, let's make the bracelet. First thing you want to do is grab it by each end and stick it through one end of the buckle, through the top. Then pull it through. And you want to take your strands from the back and take them up through the center of the loop. Then pull it all the way tight. You want to make sure that all the twists are out of the paracord. Do the best you can to keep it straight. Then after you got it good and tight, make sure you keep the ends parallel with each other and take it up and take it through the bottom side of the other end of the buckle. This helps if your ends are not frayed like the one here pictured is. Then you pull it through. The next, the next step is where you want to measure the size. Make sure the, the cord is straight still. Then you just slip it on and pull it snug. Adjust it to your comfort level. Other knots you might want to make it bigger because as you tie it, it'll take up some of the space and won't be as loose. So just adjust it to whatever size you like. And make sure you maintain that length. For the first knot, you take one side, fold it over both for the center strands then take your other piece fold it over under behind everything and through the loop then you pull it snug Start with the opposite side and do the same thing. Fold it over, take the other one, go over top of it, behind the two center strands, and through the loop. Then tighten that down. After you tie a few of them, you won't have to worry about holding it in place so much. Because the length will be maintained. And it will start to show what it's going to look like. Again, you take one over top of both center strands, take the other one over top of it, underneath of everything, through the loop, and pull. Now I'll weave the rest and then show you how to end it.
right now we're down here at the bottom of the bracelet so we'll just do a couple more weaves and then I'll show you how to end it one thing I don't really like about these flat buckles is they don't sit against your wrist as good as the curved one does so that's something to think about if you ever look to purchase a kit alright what you'll need to end it is a nice sharp pair of scissors you just take and cut the excess off about a quarter inch then you just take a Bic lighter and kind of heat up the end so it melts you don't want to burn it and after you get it good and hot where it's melted you take the side of your lighter and just smash it against the bracelet so it's a nice smooth surface so it won't irritate your skin do the same to the other side and you'll have a completed bracelet alright I want to thank everybody for watching and uh, to show my appreciation I'm going to give this bracelet away so be sure you're subscribed to my channel leave a comment share the video the more you do the better your odds but I want to thank everyone for watching and if you're interested in a pocket box just go check out mypocketbox.com thanks everyone and remember be ready